welcome back to the Mary Boozers RC channel. Today we have the maiden flight for our HSD 182 coming to us from HSDUSA.com. Loving this airplane guys, it went together absolutely fantastic. Um, it, it's just an absolutely gorgeous airplane. So for today's flight, we're gonna be flying this on a 5,000 milliamp 6S smart battery showing you right here where we have it. The airplane also has uh, an AS3X gyro stabilized receiver. We have a separate video to go along with this of putting that in here, but you can see how we have it. Um, the airplane's just loaded with scale details, guys. Lights all around, uh, quick disconnect wings. Uh, it, it just really has been a fantastic uh, build experience we could say uh, so I'm hoping it flies just as good as it does the way it looks so for CG we uh, have placed the CG just about half a centimeter forward of this tape line right about here and uh, let's hope for the best guys so me and Papa are gonna get this thing out to the runway we are gonna get this thing flying and we are gonna have us one heck of a good time. So let's get it out there. Guys, here we are, we're out at the runway. Beautiful HSD Cessna. We have the gyro turned off completely right now for this first part of the flight. We're gonna turn it on once we're up in the air. Always a good choice to do that. If something's wrong, you can turn it back off. <laughs> so, here we go. What a beautiful airplane. Oh yeah, I'd like a little less elevator already. I'm gonna go to low rate elevator. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. It doesn't need a gyro by any means. I want just a little bit of up elevator. That's hands off. I mean, it is just, oh, oh. You know guys, they build everything to resemble a 182. That's half throttle maiden flight, hands off down the runway right there. All you guys that, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, couldn't get any better. Oh my gosh. All, All right. you guys that always bought their first airplane. I'm gonna put a little bit of gyro in. They always look like Cessnas for a reason. All right, gyro is on. It's wiggling just a little bit. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit more. Gyro. Uh, so, where are you flying it at? Uh, Half throttle. Oh man, oh man. Oh. Gorgeous airplane. I mean, no. I thought, why would they build a Cessna? I got a feeling I know why, man. Oh. Wow. Guys, if you have got your maiden over with, and you're looking for the next airplane. You're looking for your first big airplane. Big airplane, look at this baby. You know guys, this, this is a, this would be a great second, third. I think airplane. this could be your first airplane. If you look had somebody it, to teach you the, with. The problem is, is getting over the side. Right. right. That's the problem with most newbies is they don't understand size helps you in a way because of the, the weight. But look at this thing. Man. Look at it. This is where this plane shines. Yeah. Touch and go Touch machine. And go. Touch and go. I guess you're right. It balances right on the, the tape on the bottom. Yep. Where the, where the servo wires are on the bottom of the wing, guys, that's where I have it CG'd. I wouldn't mind it a little bit more nose heavy with like my 7,000 in it. Yeah, and it's got plenty of room. You can put as big a battery as you want in there. Well, she's, she's not dull on the no. ailerons. Oh, no. It, 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 it's turns. a machine, man. She turns. And you got it on what? Full rate on the ailerons? Yeah, full rate everything right now. Hey, you're not supposed to be doing this until the performance flies. <laughs> when you're this comfortable with it right off the bat? Oh, 
Look at this tail slide and a half. Oh, she just loves it. I can't say anything better for this one. I guarantee you. This is just a plane that you go out. Fly every day. Enjoy. I used to say that the T-28 was a probably one of my favorite airplanes. You're going to like this one. I this is like his T-28 with no retracts to tear up. That was a carbon Z-28. The carbon Z-28 is just, a, the only problem with it is trying to get it back and forth to the field. This is so convenient with three screw, four screws to take the wings on and off. And it, it is locked in, man. I mean, stable as can be. I can't wait to get a pop of flight in here. We're only, we, we're only talking about three to maybe five miles an hour, and most of the time it's right down the runway. It's still, so, you can so, tell this is a good flying airplane. Wait, I mean, this airplane is not going to be really bothered by. Matter of fact, a, a lot of wind right down the runway would probably help you. Yeah. When so I got a. When you landed, was you had the, did you have the flaps in? I had one notch. One notch to flap. Of course, I bet you would land without flaps. Do a touch and go with, with, without flaps and see what she does. All right. It'll, see, it'll just land a little bit hotter. Just a little hotter, but I mean, I just want to show them what it would do without flaps if you guys don't really care for flaps. Let's see what she does with it. A lot of people don't like flaps. So here we come. Bet she just settles right in. Look at this. Look at that. Oh. No flaps. No flaps. <laughs> it actually is a fantastic flying airplane. All right, full flaps. We'll come in with them. You ought to stop on a dime on this one. I mean, you're going to probably have to leave power. I needed more elevator actually on the full flaps. That was great. Oh, it's fantastic. This is a, this is a good airplane. You guys want to know an airplane that I recommend you go out and get if you want a big, gentle flyer that'll do everything. Here we go. And look good doing it. Uh, I always knew a Cessna would be a fun plane to have. Well, everybody. Well, like, like I said, everybody, every trainer, even though it didn't look exactly like a Cessna, was built like a Cessna or a trainer. Well, guess why? You're seeing it right here. And that's why it's the number one private pilot airplane in the world. Well guys, let's get this over to the bench and we will get our final thoughts. Well, there it is guys, the HSD Cessna 182. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Big thanks to uh, Andy Davis uh, and the guys over at HSD USA for sending this out to us. Fantastic. What a product. I mean, I mean you know, you, there, there's planes. And there's there's certain planes that you get a hold of them planes. and you instantly are like, yes. I, I'm blown away. I mean, I'm just, you know, I, here, you know, when they brought out the Corsair, we go, why did they bring another Corsair? Mm -hmm. When I seen this, I go, why did they bring another a Cessna, Cessna yeah. out? Well, it's better. It's the definitive. It's better. It's, it, it does everything that a Cessna everybody's tried to do in the past with trainers but this one really is one mm -hmm. but it goes beyond that but as me and you both mentioned this might be a very good second airplane could be if you have mastered your landings and you can your control and you can get over the size would you know, be a bad choice. It's a large airplane. You know, this is going to be for somebody that's budget's a little higher. Let's right. put it that way. This is a $500 airplane. Exactly. But 
if you feel like your skills are good enough to fly a trainer without damaging it, this is actually a very easy airplane to fly. It really is. Um, that being said, it's still a very fun airplane to fly. It doesn't have any bad characteristics. Well, I mean, okay, it's it's not just a trainer. It's no, it'll we do just showed that loops it's and rolls. Aerobatic and, airplane. Mm -hmm, yeah, it'll do loops and rolls uh, and everything you want. So you know, guys, it's it's beautiful foam. I mean, I don't see any imperfections in the foam itself, nope. and it's not even painted. I mean, this is just foam. It's foam with stickers. Nice. It's very nice foam. The the detailing is great. The, I mean, look at the paint job on the thing. Mm -hmm. Look at the pilots. I mean, they have not left anything to go nope. that, that could not be put on this airplane. So I'm ready to get my hands on it. And he is. And so what we're going to do is get him a flight now on it. We're going to record that, and we'll see how that goes. Don't oh, crash my dang airplane. Oh, yeah, that's right. Power. We, we, so we flew right at, I believe it was five minutes and like 20 seconds. And we're at 387. 387 a sail, so we could have definitely gone longer. I'm going to throw a 7,000 in it for Dad, and I think we're going to go on and set the uh, timer to six and a half. Let him really get a flight on it. The other so. thing is, we got the Spectrum Smart yep. Technology in the airplane. We do have the gyro in there also. Them. What I, I took off of the gyro off, you didn't need one in this airplane. Maybe if it was really cross windy, it would be nice to have it, but otherwise, you don't need the gyro in this airplane. I mean, uh, it's, it's big enough. Yeah. And, and, and you know, I like to say, guys, if you can get over the size, big it's flies better. more docile uh -huh. to fly because it weighs more. It just penetrates the air. Uh -huh. It's it's if you can just get over that size, we, it, there's nothing to it. Well, without further ado, please like, right. share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's get you out there and go by and look yeah, at these guys and and give them a shout. And, and I, I, if you decide to get I, one, let Andy know we sent you. Yeah, yeah, because it, I can't tell you any better airplane that what we got here hey, it's fantastic I mean, so it is a fantastic airplane. anyway let's right. go get papa on the sticks All right, go. <laughs> and they're racing some cars today <laughs> oh, is that are we on? Again? i think we are we always catch it never says we're home so i don't know <laughs> Are we on? Yeah, okay. so she was just recording for she'll put it in the ends and okay. stuff. All right. Well anyway.